yes exercise 1.2 question number first which of the following are examples of null set then first one is set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2 as we know that there is no odd natural number which is divisible by 2 therefore first yes it is an example of null set now second one set of even prime numbers we know that 2 is the number which is even as well as prime therefore no it is not an example of null set third part is x is such that x is a natural number x is less than 5 and x is greater than 7 we know that a number in this form that with that number is less than 5 and greater than 7 it is not possible therefore yes third one it is also an example of null set fourth part why is such that why is a common point to any two parallel lines we know that parallel lines do not intersect each other like these are two parallel lines they do not intersect each other then yes there is no common point to the two parallel lines therefore it is a example of null set Yes, second question which of the following sets are finite or infinite as we all know from the definition that finite sets are those sets which are having finite number of elements and infinite num uh, sets are those sets which are having infinite number of elements therefore let's see first part it is given the set of months of a year we know that there are 12 months in a year then yes it is finite set second part is one two three dot 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 there are infinite number of elements in this set therefore this is infinite set third part is one two three dot 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 ninety nine hundred then we know that these are countable numbers from one to hundred these are natural numbers therefore we can count from one to hundred these are finite number of elements therefore this is a finite set fourth part is the set of positive integers greater than 100 then greater than 100 there are infinite number of positive integers therefore it is an infinite set and fifth part is the set of prime numbers less than 99 we can count prime numbers less than 99 these are in a finite in number therefore it is a finite set Yes, question number three. State whether each of the following set is finite or infinite. And first one is the set of lines which are parallel to x-axis. Parallel to x-axis, there are infinite number of lines. Therefore, first one is infinite set. Second part is the set of letters in English alphabet. We all know that English alphabet contains 26 letters from A to Z. Therefore, it is a finite set. And third part is the set of numbers which are multiple of 5. The number which are multiple of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and so on. These are infinite numbers. Therefore, this is an example of infinite set. Fourth part is the set of elements living on earth. On earth there are a lot of animals but they are if in a finite number so therefore it is a finite set. And fifth part is the set of circles passing through the origin 0 0. Then this is origin and through origin many circles infinite number of circles can pass therefore it is an example of infinite set. <laughs> Question number 4. In the following, state whether A is equal to B or not. As we know that equal sets are those sets which are having same elements. So let us say, first part is set A elements are A, B, C, D. In set B elements are D, C, B, A. Clearly we can see that 
A is present in both the sets, same B, same C and D. Both are having set, same elements, therefore A is equal to B. In second part, elements of set A are 4, 8, 12 and 16 and B are 4, 8, 16, 18. Clearly, 12 is present in A but not in B and 18 is present in A, B but not in A. Therefore, A is not equal to B. In third part, A element, elements of set A are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. And set B is given X is such that X is a positive even integer less than equal to 10. Then positive even integers less than 10 are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Yes, then A is equal to B. In fourth part, X is such that X is a multiple of 10. And in B, 10, 15, 20, 25. Clearly 15, 25 and so on. These are not multiples of 10. Therefore, A is not equal to B. Question number 5. Are the following pairs of set equal? First part is elements of A are 2 and 3 and B x is such that x is solution of x square plus 5x plus 6. As A is given elements are 2 and 3 and in B it is a quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 6. If we solve this quadratic equation x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 by middle term split method taking out common x we get x plus 2 and taking out common 3 we get again x plus 2 again x plus 2 and x plus 3 and if we put x plus 2 is equal to 0 we get x is equal to minus 2 and if we put x plus 3 is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus 3 then solutions are minus 2 and minus 3 clearly a R is having element 2 and 3 and b is having element minus 2 and minus 3 therefore a is not equal to b in first part in second part we can see that in set a x is such that x is a letter in the word follow it is in set builder form let us write in uh, tabular form we can write f o l w this is set A and set B is again X is such that X is a letter in the word wolf. Then W O L F. Clearly we can see that all elements are same. Therefore A is equal to B in second part. Question number 6. From the sets given below, select equal sets and these A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are given sets. We have to find out equal sets. Let us look at A. Elements are 2, 4, 8, 12. Is there any other set having these same elements? No, 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 no and no. Therefore, there is no set equal to A. B elements are 1, 2, 3, 4. And if we search in set D, elements are 1, 2, 3, 4. Then B is is equal to D. Next, let's move on C. 4, 8, 12, 14. No other set is having these elements. Therefore, C is not equal to any set. E minus 1, 1 and G 1 minus 1. Then these two sets E and G are also having same elements. Then E is equal to G. F 0, A. No other element is having 0, A and H 0, 1. No other set is having the elements 0, 1. Therefore, there are only two sets B and D equal to each other and E and G equal to each other.